Welcome to gray on math. We have to solve this problem. We have this quarter circle center at C and uh, this uh, uh, segment AC of this quarter circle is divided into two parts by this uh, uh, segment DE which is uh, uh, two parts which is 8 units for AD and uh, DC 6 units and it is inclined with segment AD 60 degrees from that segment and it is drawn 60 degrees from D until it reaches a point to E and we are required to find the length of the segment X or DE okay so for our first method this we can actually draw a line from point E to the left such that it this segment is perpendicular to this uh, segment AD and therefore we form this uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle because this is perpendicular already and this is 60 and therefore this angle should be 30 degrees. Okay. Okay, so since this we uh, form this 30, 60, 90 triangle so if the hypotenuse is x, then this length should be uh, the shorter leg in a 30-60-90 triangle is half of the hypotenuse. So this becomes uh, x over 2. And uh, this uh, segment, so let's call this uh, f, this point of the perpendicular. So this point at f, from, from point f to e will be x over 2 times square root of 3. You just need to multiply this shorter leg by square root of 3. Okay, so next is we get the radius. So radius is equal to 8 plus 6. So r is equal to 14 units. And if we, if we plot this radius, so this is uh, from point c to E is also the radius so from the center to uh, a point on the I mean the quarter circle uh, to point E okay so we form this uh, larger right triangle FEC so F E C okay so isolating this a triangle right triangle FEC so we have we need to use Pythagorean theorem to find x so we have uh, for the shorter leg so this becomes x over 2 square root of 3 squared plus x over 2 plus 6 squared is equal to 14 squared or 196 Yes, 196. But let us first do the uh, the left hand side. So we have uh, x square over 4 times 3 plus x over 2 square. So that becomes x over 4 x square over 4 plus 6 divided 6 uh, times 1 half is uh, 3 times 2 so this becomes a 6 x plus 36 is equal to 196 okay so we can just simply uh, add this to this becomes a uh, x square because because this is 3 fourth plus 1 fourth so this becomes x square plus 6 x and uh, uh, 36 minus 36 minus 196 gives you 150 but negative so x square plus 6x minus I mean 166 okay so simplifying further so we just simply add these two first like terms so we have uh, 3 fourth plus 1 fourth so this gives you 
x squared plus 6x, we just copy that, and this 36, copy, minus 196, equal to 0, and x squared, copy, plus x, 6x, then minus uh, 160, equal to 0. Then we solve this resulting quadratic equation. Okay, so solving this resulting quadratic equation, so we can actually factor this out. So factors of 160, that will give us a uh, sum of algebra x sum of positive 6. So that would be x uh, minus 10 and uh, x plus 16 is equal to 0. So if you multiply this negative 10 times 16 is equal to 160 negative. And if you add this to, it will give you uh, <coughs> negative 10 plus 16, which is positive 6. So our factors are correct. And uh, we have this, because of this, we have two solutions. So we have x minus 10 is equal to 0 for the first instance. And the other is x plus 16 is equal to 0. So for the first instance, we have uh, x is equal to 10. And the other is x is equal to negative 16. Okay, so but of course, we will mark this uh, invalid, this negative 16. Because there is no negative distance. And therefore, we have this value of x is equal to 10 units as our answer for the first method. Okay, so for our second method is we need to isolate this triangle E, C, D. So E, C, D. And since the exterior angle at D is 60 degrees, then therefore this should be 180 minus 60. So this becomes 120 degrees. And the DC is 6. While uh, the ED is uh, the X. And the CE is 14. And we use a uh, cosine though for this uh, because... We have here the two sides, the opposite side, and this, and the two sides with an interior angle of 120 degrees, and the corresponding uh, opposite angle 14 units, which is the radius of the quarter circle. Okay, so for cosine law, we have to square this uh, 14, the opposite side, to 120. So 14 square is equal to the square of the two sides with the interior uh, given interior angle in it okay so 6 square or x square plus 6 square minus 2 times x times uh, <coughs> 6 correct 6 so times 6 times cosine of 120 degrees okay so this becomes a 196 is equal to x squared plus 36 minus 2 times x is n times 6, so 12 uh, x. But cosine uh, 120 degrees gives you uh, one negative 1 half. Okay, so simplifying, we have 196 is equal to x squared. Uh, plus 36 then plus uh, 12 over 2 6x okay so uh, x square x square plus 6x minus uh, 36 I mean plus 36 Minus 196 is equal to 0. Okay, so uh, x squared plus 6x minus 160 is equal to 0. So 
we have this also on the first method the same quadratic equation so x minus 10 times x plus 6 is equal to 0 i mean 16 plus 16 so we have here uh, so it becomes x minus 10 is equal to 0 and x plus 16 is equal to 0 and therefore uh, x is equal to 10 and x is equal to negative 16 and uh, x is equal to 10 units for our second method also so this is also invalid okay so for our method 3 is we can draw a line to continue uh, c i mean de so de and we draw a perpendicular line from c to the extended uh, uh, segment ed okay so we make this a perpendicular a pair of lines and we label this as uh, f this as point f okay so since this is a uh, perpendicular so this angle here at d is also uh, this is also 60 degrees and if we form actually a right triangle with one uh, 60 degrees as one of its uh, smaller angles and therefore this uh, another angle should be the complement of 60 and that is 30 degrees and therefore this small right triangle is an i mean a 30 60 90 triangle and if that is so so if this is 6 then this uh, length fd the one opposite uh, with the 30 degree so opposite the 30 degrees this is half of the hypotenuse 6 so this becomes 3 okay and uh, this length fc we multiply this by we multiply this as a shorter leg with square root of 3 to get fc because it is a 30 60 90 triangle so this becomes 3 square root of 3 so next is we isolate the triangle FEC so this is the right uh, angle and this uh, this is point F this is point E and this is point C so FC is 3 square root of 3 while this uh, segment F uh, uh, so FE is composed of two segments so this is uh, 3 and this is X or we can simply say that this is x plus 3 while this hypotenuse is the 14 unit length this is the radius of the quarter circle and now we can use actually uh, the Pythagorean theorem for this uh, uh, right triangle so we can actually label this as x but we will be using the uh, a larger right triangle EFC so we don't need this so we can delete this and by using the Pythagorean theorem we have uh, x plus 3 x plus 3 squared plus 3 square root of 3 squared is equal to 14 uh, squared Okay, so simplifying further, we have uh, x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus, uh, square this, we have uh, 9 times 3, uh, 27 is equal to 196. Okay, so we have uh, x squared plus 6x, then plus 9 plus 27 this becomes 36 36 minus 196 gives you a negative 36 160 negative 160 is equal to 0 so we are uh, with this uh, same quadratic equation earlier so factoring this out we have uh, x minus uh, 10 
times x plus 16 is equal to 0. So x minus 10 uh, for the first instance is equal to 0. And the other is x plus 16 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 10 for the first and x is equal to negative 16 for the second. So, but this is invalid because it is a negative distance and therefore we have x is equal to 10 units. And that is our answer for the uh, last method. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.